Good morning. This is how we create an Eventbrite Facebook event. Um, the reason we do that is so that the buy ticket button is blue and it's directly on Facebook. Um, you don't have to leave Facebook to go to a, a website to buy your ticket which we find there's about a 60% fallout when we ask people to do that. So the most important thing is you start on Eventbrite first. You do not start on Facebook. You start on Eventbrite, click on create event. All right, I'm going to create one for the ghost tour of Charleston. Um, I'm going to do the location. My start date is going to be, oops, hold on. All right. It's going to be at 8 p.m. One and a half hours. You've got to add your artwork. The artwork is a two by one ratio. It is not the typical um, 16 by nine ratio, meaning uh, your pixels are 2160 by 1080. I'm going to paste in my event description. I'm going to tell which one it is since I do a lot of events. This one is my organizer um, I've got that one set up now I create the ticket refund policy one day public page now I say this one is a tour um, community, culture, and historic. All right, now I'm going to make it live on the internet in terms of all the search engine optimization that Eventbrite does on my behalf for a very nominal fee, which they don't even charge me, they charge the guest. So it's still $25 for the ticket. That's what I get. But uh, the, the ticket price that the guest will see is $27. That $2 is going towards all of this management, primarily refund management, which I find to be most useful. In the case there's a cancellation or whatever, Eventbrite takes care of everybody's credit cards, refunds all the money with a push of a button. All right, here is where you create the new Facebook event. Um, the Facebook page it, that it defaults to, you have to find the one that you do. Here's where it's gonna tell me that it's going to show up correctly brings everything in. And I say, add to Facebook. Congratulations, it's added to Facebook. Uh, you always click You go to it, make sure it's right. But here's the, the key secret right here is notice that the tour ticket now is right there. So from your smartphone while you're in Facebook, you find this event. Um, you do not have to click on some button that takes you to some alien web page that takes you out of your Facebook 
comfort zone completely takes you off, especially on your uh, smartphone. A lot of times these websites aren't optimized for that. This way, all you do is click on uh, get ticket and you, you do the quantity right here, get ticket, you're done. You never leave Facebook. Um, and that's the power of using Eventbrite with your Facebook.